I am happy to rise today to ask for your support for Senate Resolution 82. This resolution commemorates World Press Freedom Day, which is tomorrow, May 3rd. World Press Freedom Day was established by the United Nations General Assembly in 1993 to raise awareness worldwide about the importance of the freedom of the press and to remind governments of their duty to respect and uphold the freedom of expression. On this day, we honor and recognize the dedication, integrity, and bravery of journalists who work tirelessly to uncover the truth, keep the public informed, and serve as a watchdog over government. We know that freedom of the press is so critical to forming and nurturing a democracy that is accountable to the people that our nation's founders protected it by putting it in the very first amendment to the United States Constitution. In modern democracies, journalists play a crucial role. They inform us about our government, our courts, and private industry, and what they are doing. Journalists' job is to report, write, or broadcast stories that deal with matters of legitimate public importance. They help us build the public trust. All of us need the facts, the context, and the framing that journalists provide for us to be involved in every part of citizenship, to think, to vote, to parent, to invest, to work. Without the news industry and dedicated journalists, we couldn't hold people in power accountable because we wouldn't know what they were doing. In a world without a free press, disinformation, rumors, falsehoods, and fear-mongering can spread like wildfire. We cannot have a truly functional democracy without a healthy fourth estate to report on those in power. But it's no easy task to be a journalist today. Job instability, low pay, high turnover are all a normal part of the job. In some circumstances and places, journalists are harassed, physically assaulted, or even killed for just trying to do their jobs. According to the International Federation of Journalists, 120 journalists and media workers were killed in 2023 for reasons associated with doing their job. I am a former journalist, having started my professional career at the Los Angeles Times and then working for the Associated Press before going to law school. I also have a bachelor's and master's degree in journalism. For the 10 years I've been in elective, elected office, I've sent weekly or bi-weekly newsletters that draw on my journalism background in the format and tone. I know that most of us here on this floor wake up each morning and read the news about what's happening right here in the building with all the rest of us and the latest happenings throughout our nation and world. We all see the media, media as a critical part of the work that we do. We refer to journalists' work in the bills we write and we depend on them to help us understand the largest problems we face. With all the laws we develop and pass in this building, we need the media coverage. So the public knows what is happening, but also so we know how people are responding. Simply put, a free, vibrant, diverse, energetic, and unbiased press is critical to our democracy. So with that, I would like to commend the bravery of journalists everywhere and their dedication and commitment to reporting the truth. We honor them with this resolution, which recognizes their hard work and the indispensable service they provide to our democratic society. And with that, I respectfully ask for your I vote.